Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good night. Got a question for you, need an answer. Who the heck is Hope Hicks? It looks like Hope Hicks is poised to become Trump's next communications director. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here's how a 28-year-old with no political experience found herself in the inner circle. Now, I'm reading this straight from the Business Insider. It looks like she's 28, was born in Greenwich, about 60,000 people, her favorite, you know, favorite place for her. For uh, hedge fund headquarters. Now she was a model, actress, and lacrosse player. She was a model, actress, and she's 28. And she's working for Donald Trump. And she might be taking more than just Ivanka's place, if you know what I mean. More than just Mooch's place. More than just uh, uh, what's that other guy's name? Uh, the guy, Spicer's place. It looks like she might be taking Ivanka's place. <laughs> Look at this lady. She was a model, a cross player, a child before getting an English degree in Southern Mexico. She didn't intend on playing such a large role in the presidential campaign. I want you guys to listen to this. Now, falling into the gig to a job through the Trump organization, but she finds herself uh, as Trump's one of Trump's youngest advisors. Let's get into this. Well, Hicks and her sister Mary Grace were successful team models. Hicks posed for Ralph Lauren, appeared on the cover of It Girl, spin off the best selling Gossip Girl book and TV series. Here's the crazy part watch this. Hicks' first brush with the Trump campaign came in 2012 when the public relations firm uh, Strategies was working on Ivanka Trump's fashion line. That's very interesting. Looks like Trump's eldest daughter hired Hicks away in 2014, and she became part of the Trump organization. Hmm. And so is she taking Milana or Ivanka? I think she's going to be taking Milana's place. Look at this. She's 30 on the 30. Wow. Hicks met with the uh, patriarch Donald Trump quickly and earned his trust, Ivanka told the New York Times. I don't know now. It could be that that's going to be Trump's new wife. Yeah, because, you know, he likes him young. He likes him white and rich. Yeah. And so is Milana leaving and not? Is Ivanka finding her dad's next wife? Huh. Well, in January 2015, Trump called Hicks into his office on the 26th floor of the Trump Tower and told her she was going, she was joining the presidential campaign. I think it's the year of the outsider. It helps to have people with outside perspective. Hicks said Trump told her. He probably told her a couple other things, too. Now, listen to this. Hicks didn't have any political experience. That's a shocker. <laughs> she didn't have any political experience, but her, but her public relations roots run deep. Both grandfathers and fathers worked with, uh, you know, the NFL executive producer for the communications for the public relations firm. We also was a town selectman from 1987 to 91. Blah, 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 blah. She looks like she's going to be taking, that's going to be, uh, I'm sitting here saying it right now, she's going to be Trump's next wife. Yeah. Yeah, when he gets rid of the, this one he's got, he's going for her. Well, Hicks started working on what would become Trump's campaign five months before Trump announced his presidency, after he announced his presidency. Oh, no, before he announced his presidency. After famously riding a golden escalator down the lobby, it was what they said in the Bart Simpson thing. That's her. Now, I'm just saying. I'm, uh, look at that, look at that, look at that, look at that. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Look at that, look at that. Look at that, look at that. Look at her. Don't she look like... Hmm... Okay, now, okay, what makes Hicks uh, the campaign staffer with the President Trump inner circle longest? Well, she outlasted the first campaign manager, Lawandowski, La Corey Lawandowski, and several senior advisors. Uh-huh, that's them right there. Yeah. 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 Okay, here we go again now. People close to her describe Hicks as a friendly, loyal fighter. Trump calls her a natural and outstanding. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. What, what, what you looking at, man? What you looking at? What this guy looking at, huh? What you looking at, buddy? Oh, behind him looking at them legs. She's got legs. <laughs> now check this out. While reporters who have worked with Hicks says she's polite and have expressed frustration that she was often unreachable on the campaign trail, not responding to requests for comment and denying access to the candidate. 
This is her right here. And who is that? I'll say that again. This is Kellyanne Conway. And this is Hicks. Kellyanne Conway, Hicks. I'm just saying. Okay. She said her mom, Kay, told her to write a book about experience with Trump like primary colors, a fictional novel of printing Bill Clinton's first presidential campaign. You don't even know. <laughs> I think her mom knows. I think her mom knows very well. Yeah. Okay, during the campaign, Hicks uh, spent most of her days fielding reporters' endless request questions, even reportedly taking dictation. <clears throat> Read that again slow. During the campaign, Hicks spent most of her days fielding reporters' endless requests and even reportedly taking dictation from Trump to post his tweets. She's been the tweeter. Who's that? Is that old Christy Christy? Is that old Chris Christy? You know that? Oh, look at old Bannon there. Look at old Conway. Look at, that, look at that guy right there. He does something. I don't know what it is, though. That's an inner circle. Yeah. All right. During the campaign, he stayed in a free apartment in the Trump building, though she'd often go home to her parents' house in Connecticut where she, when she could. So she stayed in Trump Tower. She was close to Trump. Ivanka Trump hired her. She's going to be working. She's, ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to introduce you to the new Trump. <laughs> Miss Trump. Okay, these days she's in D.C.'s Trump named her assistant to the president and director of Str strategic communications in December. Trump gets Conway and hits during the USA Thank You event in Mobile, Alabama. Oh, Mobile. Yeah, there she is. Yeah, she's going to, yeah, Kelly, you're about to go. Because this is going to be our new uh, White House uh, uh, person. She feels the radar between directing the spotlights back to Trump. Guys, I'm telling you, as I briv and leave, this right here, this right here, this person right here, she's going to be not only being the speaker for everybody, she's, uh, said, well, she's going to be the communications director. I believe she's going to be the new Trump girl. Not Trump girl, I'm sorry, the new Trump wife. But that's just me. So now we know who the heck is Hope Hicks. Hope Hicks is going to be taking old Spicer, Scaramucci, and all those other guys' place. She might even be taking uh, Melania's place. Melania? Milana? Mulatto? I don't know. Well, I'm going to holler at you. Thanks, guys. Have a what?